I hate 5 a.m. starts. Hey, I'm Nick, an entrepreneur and adventure travel photographer. I live in South Africa, but travel the world in search of awesome photos to share with my followers on social media. But while millions of people have seen the results of my work, hardly anyone sees behind the scenes. Now, I love adventure travel, but capturing amazing photos can be really tough work. So I'm about to leave on a 2,000 mile road trip across the US. And I've got just one week to capture a wide range of photos from deserts, mountains, rocks, and ice. So I'll show you how I do it. If I've learned anything over the years, it's that good support and quality gear is critical. So I'm taking my brother and the modern day multi-tool kit, the HTC U Ultra with Tough Gorilla Glass 5. Here we go. I'm gonna struggle with the light, which means I think I'm gonna just to change lens, even though it's a bit dusty. And that is the face of Abraham. Honestly, it's like one of the most difficult settings to shoot in because it's so dark in here. We decided to go to the Grand Canyon, uh, but we're racing the sun. Hopefully, we'll get there before the sun goes down. I literally can hardly feel my hands right now. Even the mud has frozen. <sighs> oh my goodness. We're hiking here through the narrows and the water is freezing. It's all the snow melt. So we have waterproof pants on. This is not the best place to change lenses. <laughs> so I've set up the smart remote app, which means I can stand over there and change all the settings and get the shot, hopefully. Just feel stupid. You could hurt an ankle. Woo! Oh, my hands are so cold. You ready for the big test though? What's Angel's that? landing. Naked swim. Naked swim. This is slightly disconcerting. There's this really cool app that you can use, which tracks the position of the sun. It's getting really dark, and so there's a race against the sun to try to get up there. This is the part of the trail where there's a 2,000 foot drop right on the edge here. Oh my goodness, it is sheer, sheer, sheer drop. Made it. One of the most insane places I've ever seen. And if you're afraid of heights, you can make it up here, trust me. Just gotta hold on to those chains. Unfortunately, we left it a little bit too late. So I'm gonna use the phone torch and navigate our way back. Hopefully you'll see this video. This was really stupid of us. We should have definitely left earlier. So many people get trapped on the mountain. We made it. We just saw tons of snow falling down that hill. I feel like this is asking to die. This is lank sketch, seriously. That's like this. It's a nice ice slide all the way down to the bottom of the gorge if you get it wrong. The sun is starting to melt the snow, so these are dropping these massive ice falls every like every five minutes. That hits you on the head. Jeez, you wouldn't do very well. Stupid heck. Oh, there's a big one coming! Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a big one. How the crap did you get out of here? I don't know. I mean, we would have been there. If we had turned north, we would have been there. I'm really freaked out. Like, if you get that on your head, you're dead. 100%. Go, go. We made it, now in cover, <laughs> but you can still hear them cracking the sounds up above. <laughs> With 30 incredible photos in hand, my brother and I are headed back to South Africa and on to our next adventure. This incredibly tough trip was exactly what we needed. The combination of early mornings, long distances, freezing conditions, the 2000 foot drops and the elements of danger were the perfect ingredients for great photos. And not only that, but the experience with my brother was unforgettable. 